All right, let's continue building our, our the process of creating our category. I just realized in the previous video over here when we were creating our category model, I forgot to export it. So go ahead at the very bottom and export that. Otherwise, we won't be able to make use of this. So do module exports and then category. And I actually um, this right here, capitalize this C here. C, like that category. All right, because I believe that was the convention. Yes, yes, all right, cool. All right, just like that. So module exports category. So now we can make use of this and save that. All right, so now we're going to work on this controller, all right? So here, this is the controller logic, all right? This is the controller for creating a new category. All this stuff over here was for testing purposes, okay? So we can actually just remove that like that. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is we know that at this point, we have some, we have the user data that's available to us in this request object. So let's go ahead and destructure that and request body, all right? That's where it's located. And the only thing that we're sending from the front end is the category, okay? And that's the only data that we're sending. So we're destructuring it. All right, so next thing we wanna do is we're gonna run a try catch block. Okay, and for here I'm gonna do a console log, uh, let's see, I don't know. Uh, create category create error and then pass the error all right and then also I want to send to the front end mm, let's do a response status of 500 status code 500 is a um, server error and then we want to send a JSON with the error message and all I want to do here is um, please try again later. You could also do something like send a message such as a server error, but um, I don't know. I, I just feel personally this is uh, more user friendly and I don't know, pretty much tells the person, yeah, just try again later. And by then, hopefully, the issue is resolved. Okay, so now we can start working inside the try block. All right, so let's see. So the first thing we wanna do here is, so we're gonna create, um, all right, let's see. So let's do const a new, no, actually I wanna do a let. It's gonna be a let new category and we're gonna create a new category. So we use the new keyword new category and remember we 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 required it in in the previous video so we can make use of it so new category just like so and then we want to pass in some properties attach some properties to send over to the database so we want to do category and then equals the category this category that we're restructuring category Okay, and the next thing we want to do is want to do um yeah um new category yeah new so let's save this now we can save this and uh, we can do uh, a wait oh this is gonna be asynchronous too so go ahead and put async at the beginning of this function and we're gonna make use of a, we're gonna say a wait over here. All right, so await um, new, no, await new category and then save. And save is a function that allows us to save, um, save something into the database. Okay, so if everything goes well, we wanna send back to the client or back to the user, the browser, a response. And what I wanna do is I wanna send back a response status 
it's going to be a 200, which is an OK that everything went well. And then a JSON with a success message of, and I want to use some back ticks here. And do new category, new category dot category. And mind you, this right here, uh, we're pretty much getting back whatever the database sends. Uh, it's going to send us the the, uh, the database is going to send back the new the new document that was created and stored inside this um, inside this variable right here. So now I'm making use of that here, and I'm saying, um, give me the value inside that document called category. Okay, so so whatever the category was and then was created with exclamation point. All right, so if I save that, that should be it. Um, now it's uh, time to test. Um, I want to show you currently right here uh, in the database, um, this, test, this test is the database we currently have on. Uh, that's our database that we're running, okay? So we're focused strictly in this section here for tests. All right, currently we have just a users. Um, we currently just have a users collection, but very shortly, once, if so long as everything goes well, we should see a categories collection as well, okay? So let's go ahead and go to our application. Um, I'm just gonna refresh this and go category. And the first category I wanna do is, yeah, let's do drinks. And then if I submit, that was that was quick. That was pretty quick. Um, but yeah, that, that went over to the database and um, stored our category. And then we got the response back drinks, which was what we entered here in the input field was created. But the moment of truth is really over here inside the database. If I refresh this, look, now we have the categories uh, collection. And if I click on it, I should have drinks. There we go, category drinks. And then remember that timestamp that I mentioned earlier when we were creating the model, the created ad and updated ad. It automatically creates these for us. All right, and um, another thing I want to mention is, uh, do you remember when I was talking about um, over here that Mongoose automatically turns this from a singular to a plural form categories? Um, that was from the previous video. So if I pull up my model, category model, over here when I was calling a model, I had a capitalized category. However, it transformed it and turned it into everything lowercase and, and, and then uh, into a plural form. All right, so just to let you know, in case you were wondering like why, if you looked into the database, like why is this showing up in, you know, different from what, when you create the model. All right, so that's the reason Mongoose automatically does it for you. But there you go, um, that's pretty much it. So we finally completed the whole process of creating the category. So perfect, all right, so, but we're not done, obviously. We still got a lot of work to get done, um, but that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video.